Dear students, I am Devinder, you are my answer. Now you can see here, integers. Fourth exercise is related to multiplication of integers. Already we have discussed addition of integers, subtraction of integers. Now I am going to multiplication of integers. What they have mentioned here, the product of positive integer and negative integer is always negative integers. Now you can see example. C 3 into minus 4 3 into minus 4 how much? See 3 is a positive integer 4 is a minus 4 is a negative integer or not yes then what they have mentioned here product of positive integer and negative integer is always negative integer already we have studied in the previous classes this is the plus this is a minus plus into minus you will get minus then you can write 3, 4, j, how much? 12. Your answer is minus 12. These are all examples only. I am just, I am giving. For example, if you need, see, minus 5 into 6. Minus 5 into 6. See, this is the product of negative integer and positive integer. This is also will be negative integer only. Why? Because minus into plus. Minus into plus, how much? Minus only. 5, 6, how much? 30. I hope you may understood this one. Plus into minus, minus, minus into plus, minus only. Next one you can see. The product of two negative integers. The product of two negative integers is always a positive integer. You know that see here. I am taking minus 3 and minus 6. These two numbers are negative integers are not. Yes, I am doing here multiplication. That means into minus 3 into minus 6. See, minus into minus plus or not? Yes, 3 is 6 how much? 18. That means your answer is plus 18. Yes or no? For example, you can take one more here. Minus 4 into minus 6. How can you take the two numbers are negative integers or not? Yes, the two numbers are negative integers. The result will be that means product is equal to positive integer positive integer means it is a positive number 4 6 how much 20, 24 you need not to mention plus again why because each and every positive integer is defined it shows plus symbol so that you have to understood this one here minus into minus minus into minus you will get is equal to plus only minus into minus plus already you know that plus into plus also plus only the product of two positive integers is always positive number the product of two negative integers is always positive integers now you can see the product of positive number and negative integer the product of positive and negative integer is always negative you can remember is always negative the product of negative integer and positive integer is always negative you can remember here simple minus into minus plus plus into plus plus minus plus into minus 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 into plus you will get minus only you can understand this one you can do problems very easily why because this is the product you have learned in the previous class also minus into minus plus that means so that only you can see here minus 3 into minus 6 plus or not yes you know that plus into plus plus that means 3 6 how much 18 3 is a positive integer 6 is a positive integer 3 6 how much 18 18 will be positive integer or not yes now you can see here exercise for first bit fill in the blanks what is the first one minus 100 into minus 6 minus 100 into minus 6 see just now we discussed minus into minus will you get plus or not yes plus only 100 into 6 how much 600 you know that your answer is 600 in the similar way once you can see minus 3 into question mark is equal 3 see just now i discussed you when you will get positive integer result you know that product of two negative integers is always positive or not. Product of two negative integers is positive. That means 
can i take your negative value or not yes you can write your minus symbol then you can see when will you get the same number as the product just in the previous video i explained multiplicative identity is one multiplicative identity is one that means three one jao must three only that means minus three into minus one is equal you can mention here three is your answer that means your answer is how much minus one you can write here minus one next one you can see here 100 into minus six it is a positive integer it is a negative integer plus into minus minus only 100 into six 600 that means your answer is minus 600 in the similar way you can do these two problems now you can see exercise for Second bit, find each of the following products. Find each of the following products. See, here 3 into minus 1. 3 into minus 1, how can you write here? See, 3 into minus 1 is equal. This is the positive integer. This is a negative integer. Plus into minus, you will get minus. Next, you can multiply. 3, 1, how much? 3, minus 3 is your answer. Next one, you can see here. Minus 21 into minus 30. Minus 21 into minus 30 see here minus into minus you get plus 21 into 30 how can you do here 21 into 30 instead of 30 i am doing only 3 why because you can directly write here 0 3 1 ja, 3 3 2 ja, 6 your answer is 6 30 your answer is plus 6 30 why because product of two negative integers is always positive integers 21 into 3 you can write 0 3 1 3 3 2 just 6 now you can see one more here 9 into minus 3 into minus 6 9 into minus 3 into minus 6 the answer will be C first you can do the symbols products it is a positive integer it is a negative plus plus into plus into minus 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 into minus plus that means your answer is positive integer you know not to mention once again but if you want you can mention 9 3 is how much 27 you can write 27 into 6 if you want you can do directly also no problem easy 27 into 6 how can you do yes you know that the basic product method 27 into 6 6 7 is 42 6 2 is 12 12 plus 4 is 16 that means your answer is 162. Just you can see here minus into minus plus 9 3 is 27 27 into 6. Six here 6 7 is 42 6 2 is 12 12 plus 4 is 16. Your answer is 162. Next one we can see here minus 3 into minus 6 into minus 2 into minus 1. Just you can see here minus 3 into minus 6 into minus 2 into minus 1. See minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus only 3 6 is how much 18 18 2 is how much 36 36 1 is how much 36 only your answer is plus 36 that means 36 only if you want you can write one more c minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus you have to remember whenever they have given even number of negative integers see how many integers one two three four four is see how many integers are available one two three four four are negative or not here if they have given four that means even number of negative integers you can take plus symbol directly otherwise if you want you can practice minus into minus plus plus into minus 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 into minus plus so your answer is 36 in the similar way you can do the remaining problems now you can see Third one, a certain freezing process requires that room temperature be lowered from 40 degrees. That means the present temperature is at 40 degrees. After that, the temperature is lowered. Lowered means it is the decreases. You can see here, decreases at the rate of 5 degree centigrade per every hour. Now you can see, for example, now present temperature is 40 degrees after that per every hour for every hour it decreases lower from is decreases how many degrees 5 degrees temperature 
For example, now it is 40. After one hour, it will be equal to 40 minus 5. How much? 35 degrees. After one hour, 35 minus 5, you will get 30 degrees. That means it is decreases. First, you can understand the question, then analyze it. Then you can start the problem. What will be the room temperature 10 hours after? The process begins. That means they are asking after 10 hours, the room temperature will be equal to how much? Just I mentioned in the number line for your easy purpose. First, you can see under room temperature, what is will be? First of all, there is how much? 40 degrees. They mentioned for every hour, how many degrees decreases? Lower means decreases. How many degrees? 5 degrees. What they are asked here? After 10 hours. That means you can see here. First one hour, how many degrees? 35 degrees. Next one hour, 30. That means first hour, second hour, third hour, fourth hour, fifth hour, sixth hour, seventh hour, eighth hour, ninth hour, tenth hour. That means here, after 10 hours, that means this is the first hour. Yes or no? This is the first hour. This is the second one. This is the third hour. This is the fourth hour. This is the fifth hour. Sixth hour. Seventh hour. Eighth hour. Nine. Ten hours. That means here, after 10 hours, what would be the temperature? You can see, what would be the temperature? Minus 10 degree temperature. Your answer is how much? Minus 10 degree temperature. Now, I will write in the statement form. The room temperature, that means, as per the given information, as per the given problem or information, as per the given problem, the room temperature, the room temperature, how much it is? The room temperature is 40 degrees centigrade. One more condition they have mentioned. You can see it. the load from 40 degrees at the rate of 5 degree every hour. That means you can write here change in change in temperature. Change in temperature how much? 5 degrees per every hour. You can write here change in temperature. Change in temperature is equal 5 degrees temperature. That means already mentioned here lowered that means you can write here minus minus 5 degree per centigrade per every hour you can see here for every hour it decreases for every hour then you can just see first hour that means you can mention here for every hour, 5 degrees temperature. Now you can see. For 10 hours after, that means change in temperature. Change in temperature for 10 hours. How many hours? 10 hours. See, per 1 hour, how many degrees decreases? 5 degrees temperature for 10 hours how much just you can multiply 10 into minus 5 how much you will get 10 5 yeah, 50 plus into minus minus that means minus 50 degree centigrade see here how much decreases minus 50 degree centigrade now you can see they are asking after 10 hours the room temperature after 10 hours then you can write there. See in the question they are asking after 10 hours not how much temperature decreases. They are asking after 10 hours how much temperature. That means you can write there. You can write the temperature. The 
the temperature after 10 hours after 10 hours is equal that means the temperature means here room temperature the room temperature after 10 hours is equal what is the first temperature 40 degrees centigrade here see how much hours you got here 50 degrees that means you can see here minus 50 degree centigrade 40 degree minus 50 degrees how much you will get see which is the biggest number 50 50 having which symbol minus you can write here minus 50 minus 40 how much 10 degree how much your answer minus 10 degrees centigrade see instead of writing this one statement see I shown directly with the diagram easy way to understand here for every one one hour its degrees is 5 degrees that only we shown here in the statement form your answer is see your answer is the room temperature after 10 hours is equal 40 degrees centigrade minus 50 degrees centigrade is equal minus 10 degrees centigrade